have a role as an older sister, as an older cousin, to bring Raranga to my own whānau. I'm a third generation weaver from my Ngāti Kea Ngāti Tuara side. My Raranga journey started with my Tuharangi Ngāti Wahi side, so I'm able to complement them both. E te mea, e waka kotahi, no te arawa. Being brought up with no choice of having te Māori, only being in a te Pākehā space, there were many positive things and there was no choice as a child, but I still didn't fit. There was a conformity that you had to follow. So raranga enables me to be who I'm supposed to be. Being a weaver, I can bring my harika care at large volumes and I can boil here. So I'm gonna show you exactly how we do that. It takes out the chlorophyll, lightly boils, so I can take this home and dry it out fully so they don't go mouldy. And when I'm ready to weave, I wet them down and then I weave. The first thing that attracted me to Te Wānango Aotearoa was the flexibility and hours to be able to study after work as a full-time mama and was close to home. You were allowed to be and create whatever image you had in your mind and bring it to life. My two years here gave me the foundation to be able to move up to the next step, to fully understand and accept the fact that I wasn't a tawira anymore, I was an artist. It was pretty hard to wear. I definitely recommend Maunga Kuratoi Level 6 to others on their raranga journey because it's not a hobby, it's a lifestyle. And that's what our tutors show us. What I'd love to achieve in the future is to make kākuhu for everyone in my whānau, to encourage the creators in my hapū and emu to wear my glasses and see my world. Kaupapa that is close to my heart is kākuhu tia tō whānau ki te mana o hene te iwa iwa. <laughs>